Hello and welcome to Joe Beth Sexton's Crafty Cauldron. Today I have a, something a little bit different for you, for me as well. <laughs> um, there I was, well, a lot of us, we were challenged by Amy at Crafty Cat, um, link below, link below, um, to do a color challenge. And the thing is, is you, you pick a color or she picks the color and then you have an hour to make as many things as you can make incorporating that color into your items. So the first one and is, is green. And um, I don't do a lot of green. I mean, I, I have, but I don't normally, unless it's my, like the theme is a, a gardening or a wildlife or a nature journal or something like that. And I've only done like two so far because I've, I've only been making junk journals for like six months. So, I went and did as she suggested and picked up a bunch of, um, looked around and got a bunch of um, uh, green items. And it was funny, you know, as I was looking around, I discovered that I had way more green than I thought I did. So, yay! But let's get started. Uh, let's see. One hour. And we are right now at, it is 8.27 a.m. So, maybe I will set my timer, and got my phone here, timer, uh, let's see, hours, no, 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 whoops, never used this before, you can tell, okay, so one hour, go. <laughs> Okay, so I think what I'm going to start with first is something that I absolutely love doing, and that is making envelopes from book pages. It is a lot of fun, and it can be used in a lot of things, so I think I'm going to do that. Let's see, are these the same size? I cut a bunch of stuff down because I didn't want to have to cut a bunch of stuff down while I was being timed. Because I'm an overachiever. <laughs> Not really. Anyway, I'm trying to find two pages that are. You'd think I would have already done this too, but no. Alright. Hey, look at that. There's two that are the same. So let's just. And I did look at these for bad words, and it's an Anne McCaffrey book, which is a dragon book, and um. This one is actually the Crystal Singer book, and it doesn't have or crystalline, I'm sorry. And it, uh, she doesn't put bad words in her books, which I appreciate. So anyway, let's get my little piece of, this is a book that I use when I'm doing things like this. Uh, okay. Um, what I want to do first is put down some green paper uh, underneath the what I'm going to be using as the cover of that to go over the top. And I think I'm going to use lace. I really like lace. I like using lace. Lace on top of these. It looks really good. And of course, I don't have the piece of paper that I was thinking of because I didn't get everything I needed. That's okay. We'll just go ahead and use got this little thing here. Mm -hmm. My trimmer is off camera and I apologize for that, but it's close. I don't even have to get up. So that's cool. Okie dokie. There's that piece. And That's too long. <laughs> Snips. What's that? Ruth Gordon said in the original Rosemary's Baby. Snips and snails and puppies, dogs, tails. That's right. Okay, so I don't think we need two of these. I think we'll only need one of these. I've got the two pieces right there. So I do not like to use glue stick, but because I'm planning on selling this, I'm going to use a glue stick. 
And I like my Scotch Create because it seems to be, and I apologize for the tradition of the Scotch Create, but it's how things get, you know? But anyway, this is the best one that I've found. I've, I've tried Elmer's and Uhu or Yuhu, and I've tried a couple other things, and I just really like this one. So, green. Envelope. And this is just one of those fold over envelopes that you can see here. I kind of want to bend it this way so it doesn't go backwards on me. So it doesn't pucker the other way. Okay, now I have. Oh, and look at what I found, you guys. I found a whole. You can't even see it, it's too close to the camera. That's how stacked up it is. It's a whole box of green or green fabric or stuff with green fabric with green fabric with other colors and I'm happy I'm proud of myself <laughs> okay I'm gonna move this glue book thingy mm -hmm. and let's orient this the right direction oh well, what I think is the right direction and I think what I'm gonna do is ink around the edges real quick with this distress ink. I don't want to go crazy or anything. Green, green, green. Thanks, Amy. This is kind of fun already, but you know, crafters got a craft, right? And I love crafting. I certainly do. Creative outlet with a purpose in mind. Let's see. Front, back, front, back. That's front. This lace is from 1970s. Uh, I believe it's 73. It was part of my mother's wedding dress that she made for her wedding. It was a... <laughs> I had poofy shoulders and it was like the most stylish of the times. Oh, I should have pinked this. That's okay. My pinky shears are really, really dull. And they're, they're like, they're vintage. They're these, um, hmm, what are they called? Griffin? Griffin pinky shears. They badly need sharpened and, and, um, yeah, I just didn't want to fight with them. So, here we go. And I'm going a little bit wide because I'm just gonna I'm gonna trim it when I'm done. I'm just gonna when I when I'm done sewing. And I can't cut a straight line to save my life, so <laughs> you guys are probably all like, no, 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 turn the scissors the other way, turn them in, go in. No, can't. It's it's just that's the way I am. I'm I cut crooked. I can't draw a straight line. Although, you know, I am a professional artist. There's a lot of artists that can't draw a straight line. So that goes back over in the box. Mm -hmm. And let's do... I think that'll be cool. Okay, let's do this one. And then we'll sew... Just gotta yank my sewing machine out. It's a teeny tiny little Janome. It's really cute. It barely makes any noise, but it only has a few stitches on it. And that's that's all I really need. I need it has like a little crescent moon stitch, uh, three different zigzags, and a bunch of straight stitches um, of varying sizes. And that's okay because seriously, it's all I really need. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, this side. Okay, so we're gonna, and I have red, red thread in my sewing machine. How sad, huh? Okay. Sewing machine's out. <laughs> my foot pedal is kind of, oh look, it's all tangled up now. <laughs> this has never happened before. There we go. 
Oh, good. Foot pedal on the floor. There we go. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, get a sew. Stick with me. This will be quick, I promise. Uh, zigzag. Now it's going to be like a totally Christmas envelope. I don't even celebrate Christmas as such. But here we go. I'm going to do it. And I just watched a uh, video that said you should keep your envelope kind of curved. So, And that made total sense to me. So hold on a sec. One side done. seamstress I so so crooked that's not even funny one thing I can sew though is my finger I did that last week go so now we've got a nice little zigzag stitch all the way around a little plaid thing I like the plaid the plaid is kind of cool this is actually a, a scrapbook piece um, paper 12 by 12 it's from a 12 by 12 but you saw that already anyway um <clears throat> oh and I gotta apologize for my scratchy throat my allergies are kicking my butt right now I have severe seasonal allergies no I'm not sick but, let's see if I can get these shears to cut this edge here. I do sneeze and sniffle a lot during allergy season. Hey, that's working pretty good. It's not the best trim job, but, you know, it's a junk journal. That's what I keep saying. It's a junk journal. Don't get all wrapped up about perfection because it's perfect in its imperfection. It's it's not going to detract from the overall feel of any item or journal. It's, it's going to be okay. So here we go. Okay. And some of those are usable. Let's see. I've got a little coffee can down here that's got my snippets in it. It's got a little hole cut in the top. My husband has coffee cans. He drinks a lot of a lot of coffee. But see, this is what I did for my. It's full almost, but I just tuck them in there and then I'll go through them later. Which probably has green in it, so I may be <laughs> taking that out later. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink of water real quick. Hmm. Water is amazing. It certainly is. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this. Oh, you know what? Let's go upside down. Because there's no words on this part. So I'm thinking that that might be a better plan. So I'm just going to fold it that much. And then I'm going to fold this, but I'm going to fold it down so there's a little bit of space between the fold in the envelope and the top of my envelope to make it the top of the inside to make it easier to get in there. Okay, there's that. Looks pretty good, pretty even. Okay, now I'm going to use some... Ooh, that's good. Wired ribbon. Just yank that wire out of there. Oops, that wasn't wire. <laughs> oh boy. And guess what? There's one piece, and there's 
here's the other piece. There we go. Alrighty. Let's just let's do this at an angle too. Let's make them both the same, kind of like that. And let's see. Let's put a little piece of this lace up there. Grab my snip it. Snip it. Like that. And I mentioned I don't really know what I'm doing. Flying by the seat of my pants. I have a little. Um, oh, cool, there's one in there. I have this little baggie in my ribbon bag. A ribbon bag. I got a grab bag of ribbons at the, the Goodwill. And I've got this little teeny green bow. Isn't that cute? Let's see if I can. Oh, heck. I'll just trim it. I'll just trim it. Trim it. That'll look cool. And I have a envelope. I've got my little trash can right here. Okay. Let's use Fabri-Tac. And I'm putting these on like randomly, like um, kind of. Not even, not not level, because I kind of like that look. So, I'll do that one. Oops. Not too much. Less is more, in this case. And that one goes that way. Let's see. And then that's the back of that. Oh, i got spider webs all over the place. Uh, let's just... Come on over there. There we go. Okay. Bow. Crooked bow. That's better. Let me cap that so I don't forget. Uh, let's put the bow a little this way. There we go. And... One more thing. I like to put Velcro dots on mine. So they stay shut. It's a lot easier to handle and to operate. And because it's paper glued on and all of that, it, it works pretty well. So I'll get that. And the way that I like to do this is I like to put the fuzzy one on top. And yeah, there's a lot of sticky on these, but still, I, I like to add some Fabri-Tac because it's really strong glue. And a Velcro closure doesn't always weather the storm. Boop. And... Since it's still wet, I'm just going to go ahead and smack it on there. And it's a little crooked. Let's see if I can pick it up. Yeah, see? It comes up. So let's just move that over just to tape. Yep, that's good. There we go. One envelope done. It's cute! Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I didn't get done. Hold on, hold on. I got to glue the sides. Got to glue the sides. It's important. Glue it on this portion. And I like to go over my threads as well as a little bit past. Kind of helps them stay glued in or stitched in. Glued in. Yeah, because there's glue on it. <sighs> Good ball. Okay, that's probably really loud. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we've got our envelope, and I'm just going to There we go. I'm just going to leave that, put that aside, and let's see what else do I want to do. Let's do a... Ooh, let's see, a journaling card. How about a journaling card? Ooh, look at that. Butterfly, caterpillar, and it's on a green piece of paper. This is for me. 19, uh, 19, oh look, and there's orange on the inside. Sweet. 
Oh, man, now what do I do? I can use half the page. Then I'm going to make a nice little card. I could go like that. It's not really oriented the right way. Nah. Well, I could use this. Let's see. I think that's what I'll do. And I have a bunch of these. I have a bunch of really stiff paper because a friend of ours was um, closing up his print shop and he had a bunch of paper that he didn't have a use for and he gave it to us. I mean, it was reams and reams of really heavy paper and I was just like, <gasps> And that was before, before I even started in junk journaling, junk, making junk journals or anything of the sort. And <laughs> funny thing, I was using it for other stuff and I'm just going to tear the cardstock. There we go. There's that. Let's use glitter glue. But yeah, and uh, he, uh, he gave us a whole bunch of paper. They said they had more, but we never had the opportunity to, to get it. It was just, just kind of sad. Because I didn't want them to throw it away. I mean, somebody's got 18 reams of paper. You're like, dude, no. I'll use it. I'll stick it in my Etsy store or something. I don't know. Boop. There. I had to get that corner. Okay. And my pen and my glitter glue has been bent so many times it almost doesn't fit in the thing anymore. It's kind of sad. Okay, so oh, this stuff sure does grab fast. And let's just flatten it a little bit with that. And let's go over both sides. I'm just gonna trim that up real quick. Normally don't work this fast. I mean, usually uh, I like to take my time with stuff and put a lot of thought into it, as I'm sure all of you do too. Let's see here. Let's do kind of looking through the page. I think I'm just going to tear these little caterpillars and stuff on there. little bits of paper flying all over the place. It's like an explosion. An explosion. I tell you. I even got Mod Podge out. See that? <laughs> Crazy. This is vintage photo distress ink. That's going to go right. I mean, what else am I going to do, I think? I think I'm going to put a nice flat piece of coffee dyed cheesecloth on this. This sounds like a good idea. Scraggly piece. That'll be flat enough, I think. So hanging over a little bit. And... Let's put it like this. Just to tack it down. Like that. A little bit of cheesecloth. It's gonna start sticking on my fingers now, boy. Fun we're having. No, really, seriously, I am. <laughs> I love this stuff. And let's do the glitter glue. Let's try some more. That can go in the trash. That can go in the trash. Let's see here. I think I'll put mm, 
I really like the monarch butterfly on that. I really do. Although there's other still, oh, those are moths. I like moths better than butterflies. Isn't that crazy? Let's see here. Hmm. Go put this one on. I know you're taking too much time. <laughs> oh my goodness! Actually, I'm not. This is just fun stuff, and it's green. Green, green, green. And I have this green wallpaper over here, but um, you know, I didn't realize that it was self-stick, which kind of disappoints me because that means better put my lid back on my ink right there. That means I don't know if I can use it because it's gonna be kind of difficult to make something out of it if the back is all sticky, unless I immediately put it on something, and that is gonna make it incredibly thick, which may not be good for inside a journal. So we're just gonna have to figure that out. Fussy cut flowers out of a book. So let's see here. What can we use? Oh, that's a little big. It's really tall. <laughs> and that's really wide. Hey, that one might work. Ink and that's going to be fun. I like to cut out little centerpieces too in my flowers, so it looks kind of, mm, I don't know, I think it just looks cool that way. Maybe I should do this one instead, oh, 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 yellow, yellow with green, how about that, that's better I think, that's even a better shape, okay, okay, oh, I gotta do that one thing. Sorry about my arm. My my stuff is all really close because I don't have a lot of space to work in. So I just keep my supplies like really close by, which means that they it very often requires me to reach across the camera view like this. And I pull it. Like I said, I apologize for that, but hey. We do what we can and what we have to. Okay, now let's ink. A little bit of ink. That's a little dark, but that's okay. carefully so I don't tear a head off. <laughs> Amy will get that. Amy will get that. It, it relates to a comment that I made because she made me laugh. She was doing her, um, I believe it was her orange challenge, which is the next one I'm going to do because it's the second one. And um, she was inking a, a lady cut out uh, from an old pattern uh, pattern book or pattern front from the envelope or something and it tore the lady's head off and I just had to giggle because <laughs> of the way she said it and because stuff like that happens to me all the freaking time oh my god where's my pen oh I hate it when this happens you get in a hurry and you start throwing stuff all over the place see I usually put it way up here on my computer okay so let's do this boop and one more leafy thing. Saying to my husband the other day, I'm really surprised I haven't glued my fingers together yet. There, that's not bad. And let's put this little teeny tiny flower guy up in the corner. Oops. Come back. There we go. It's kind of neat. Ooh. Had a little teeny tiny piece of paper glued to the end of my pen. What are the odds? <laughs> okay, we're at 32 minutes. Wow, time flies, man. I'm going to eat the back of this. I like this paper because it's got all these horizontal lines. And you, can, you don't need to, to stamp or draw any lines on this because... It's got those, and you can totally just write on that. So that's kind of neat. There we go. Oh, 
you know what? Oh, I, I have something else. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, I forgot to see the front. I left the bottom and the side is exposed white, so I really kind of want to take care of that. Let's take that off of there. There we go. There we go. Okay, two. Two down. How many ever to go? How many ever I get to, right? Let's see, what else is there? Mm. Let's see here. What is this? Let's see if I can get one of these done. Oops. Hey. Green, green. Oof. More green. Okay. And this is an old curtain I got at Salvation Army, but look how that's fraying. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. And it's got a hem at the top and bottom, but that's okay. Bet I can use that for something. Bet I can. Oh, in fact, hold on, hold the phone. Dudes, yeah, because hold on. I can actually use that. I'm going to make a flip, a fabric flip, but I think I'm going to use that hemline for the top. So let's do that instead of cutting it sideways. Let's just trim off all these hairy hairs here, all these threads that are out of control. It happened when I laundered it. You know how that does that. You launder something that's been trimmed and all of a sudden all of the, the stray fi fibers and threads just go crazy. Yeah, let's see. It's crooked. So let's make that a little straighter. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun to tear. Woohoo! Okay. And the fabric flip. Let's put it like about there. Oh, not so bad. Let's see how big is that? How tall is it? Let's see. It's nine and a half. Let's make it like seven. It seems like a good, good measurement. Okay. Let's just trim that just a teeny tiny bit there. And I take off a couple of these things. So the front is going to be like that. Which is going to be, that's going to be, that seam is going to be covered up. So that doesn't really matter. And this is a really cute fabric I found at the, I think I found it at the thrift store. It's got like little houses on it. See a little house with a red roof and some flowers. But it's really green, so... So we're going to do, I think I want to do the little house thing. Mm. There's more green over there. And it's very thin cotton, so it works well. See. I, think I might want to put some of this ribbon on there too. That would be cool. The wired ribbon from before. Let's make that about right there. Maybe some of this lace. Oh, that's not lace. This is lace. Okay. Let's get the wires out of there. And if you can't get them like this, you can always use pliers, which I have right here. Because I tried to be prepared. Good Girl Scout. 
I was actually in the Girl Scouts. I used to have, when I was little, I was about, I don't know, when I was in the Girl Scouts, I was about 13. Um, and I had really, really uh, blonde, blonde hair. Like white blonde almost. Platinum. Almost platinum. Not quite. And um, let's trim that down too. I, um, I would go to Girl Scouts once a week, I think. And it was kind of fun. And we did things like, you know, earn badges, of course, and and um, played games while we were there, and snacks, and we had snacks, and we got to visit with our friends, and all this other. Well, one day while I was there, they were, we were all playing games, and I guess I was, it was British Bulldog or something. You know how that is where you go, or Red Rover, Red Rover, Red Rover, and whoever their name is, your name, and then right over, and then they come and they, they try to break through the line that the other guys are making on the other side of the yard by holding hands. And um, so I I guess I had been one of the people that they called because I was very, very thin, very thin. And, and I, you know, I didn't have a lot of <laughs> weight behind my, my dash. And my, my dash was, you know, you're, you're supposed to try to run at them and get them to let go and stuff. And, um, <laughs> I guess I was disqualified because I was standing over by the doors at the building, which were, I mean, you know, the buildings were like, the buildings were like this and there was a yard in between. That's where we were all playing Red Rover. So one line of people was on each side and I guess I had run and, you know, not been able to break through the line. And, um, so I, uh, I was standing by the building and I leaned up against the door and I was just watching and I was just like, you know, chilling and stuff. And um, so then everybody was, you know, having fun and nobody was watching what anybody was doing really except for, you know, the people playing Red Rover. And um, it came time to go home and we were all going home and I was walking home and, and I went to like fluff my hair, you know, like kind of fluff. And um, I noticed that there was this glob of something in my hair. And I was like, oh, that's gross. What is that? Well, I couldn't see it because it was too far in the back of my head. So I um, I went home and I'm like, mom, mom, something's wrong with my hair. I've got something in it from Girl Scouts. So she looked at my hair and she goes, oh my God, you've got tar in your hair. And I'm like, tar? How the heck did I get tar in my hair? So, yeah, tar. So, um... <laughs> our next door neighbor just happened to be a hairdresser uh, she cut hair for a living and um, I'm just seeing if I can use anything in here that's like maybe not green but kind of cool well that kind of goes then I'm going to put that up there like that no I don't want to do that anyway so our next door neighbor she, was, she cut hair for a living and um her daughter Nancy Stevens, that's what that's what their name was, um, was my friend. She was like a year and a half older, or two years older than me, or whatever. And um, so I was um, bummed because it was really high up. So I had to get my hair cut because I leaned my head into some tar at Girl Scouts. How gross is that? Ugh. I was really sad, though, because my hair was, like, all the way down to my waist. You know how long it takes to grow your hair that long? Well, some people, it doesn't take that long, but my hair was always grown slow. So, I got my hair cut that day. Did not like it. Not one freaking bit. Here, you know what? That is better right there. Ooh, I know what else I have. So yeah, I stuck everything in this box. Hold on just a sec. Uh, maybe I just want to use this. That I don't need. This is a ribbon. A ribbon for the flip up. Flip, flip, flip. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That makes a nice bright contrast, doesn't it? And this is a vintage ribbon. Vintage ribbon. No, I don't even know how old it is. 
If it's not vintage, it sure looks like it is. You know, because I'm not sure. Never are. Never am. How can you be sure, right? Oh, that. Well, oh, I better hurry up. <laughs> this is too thin. Narrow. It's too narrow. Let's see here. There's some seam binding. And that's also. It's lime. Oh, look. Ephemera. That's cool. I'm saving that. All right, then. A ready-made piece of um, stuff. Do I win? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think I'll put... Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'll do this. That goes over the top, though. I think that would look better. I think I'll do that. And... Put that back in the seam binding box. And... This is supposed to go here somewhere. Let's put this guy. Here. With a little. There we go. Put that back in the ribbon bag. Boop. Yes, I said boop. And this is not even open. This is also from a thrift store. Kind of neat. You know, I've got like grab bags of stuff. I went out on the right day too. I was just like, I can't believe all this stuff. It's so cool. Sparkly. Got to have this sparkly. It's kind of like a, a net. See that? Yeah. That might be cool. Since we're going to, I, meaning I, am going to zigzag the whole thing, that actually might look kind of neat. Just put that down there. I'm going to have to glue all this, you know. You know! <laughs> hmm. That's narrow. Very narrow. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to need... Maybe just a little snitch of this again. Right about, right about there. Ooh, you know what? That might be too close. Well, it's not for this, but it is for that. So, I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'll use that other fabric with the little houses on it and just take out a piece that's got more green. Like this one down at the end. Like this one down at the end right there. I keep going off camera. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so weird. It's so weird doing this because usually I'm just like all focused on my... Oh, this one's good. I'm all focused on, on my center stage right here and not today because I'm getting stuff out of continually getting stuff out of this box down here so it's a little bit different Ooh, that's because my skin is so dry I snag everything it's dry it you know it rains here in Arizona but it it's like a day later once the rain stops <sighs> hello dry weather and it's just a drastic change a little fraying stick the blue flowers underneath there like that okay let's hang it over the edge a little yeah a little bit of a staggered thing going on okay like that lace and what about this here that's not bad that'll work and these little tiny guys go in my little snippet can Bigger pieces do not. Okay, so I like to use my Elmer's glue for this because it isn't, it's strong enough. And I think I'm gonna sew this later because let's face it, I don't have all day. I've only got an hour. Mm, glued my finger.
Okay. Oops, oops. Oh, see? Snagging my fingers. What a pain. What a pain. Let's see, is that the side I want to glue on there? I guess it doesn't matter. It looks the same on both sides. It's almost like a grow grain ribbon on the in, on the middle. Down the middle. Okay. I really like that ribbon. I know it's like wired and all, but it was. <laughs> I think it's really cool looking. Okay, so let's do... Oops, forgot to check. Let's see which side is up. Oh, I'm right. That's good. Uh, who's afraid of a little glue, right? Okay. Oh, come on. Get off of me. <laughs> Ew. It's like a booger. It won't go away. Yes, I have very few filters. Anybody who watches my live streams knows that. <laughs> few filters. My husband's the same way. He's my mod. For my live streams. He's one of them anyway. Okay, there's that. Let's see, this one's going to be a little difficult to glue down, but we'll do what we can. Let's get that glue off of there. Okay. Alrighty. Let's move that over. Let's, by let's, I mean me. Uh, okay. Just love these frayed edges. Oh my god. This fabric is amazing. I love working with fabric. I just don't like sewing. Crazy. Because yeah, sewing is not my one of my strong points. I was watching um, Rachel at Roxy Creations sew a slow stitch yesterday. Man, it's like she's she's doing it. So and so and so and straight stitch. Just simple. Really simple. I'm watching her and I'm like... Well, Maybe, maybe I should give it another try because maybe I can do it, you know? So, I don't know. It's, it's just something kind of I consider once in a while. My mom was a great seamstress. She had a business for a while. When we lived in um, downtown Phoenix, she had a little sign outside our house, our little bitty house. House isn't there anymore, but that was years. I was a little kid then, and I'm very not a little kid now, believe me. Okay, I think I'm going to cut off that little wiggly edge right there because it's just driving me nuts. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to sew this right now because it will take me way too long. I sew very slow. So there's that, and I have 13 and a half minutes. Let's see what else can I do. So there's flip. Now let's see. I think I want to make a pocket. Pocket. Book page. Do a book page pocket. This. Which is probably going to be too wide. So I'm just going to slice it. Because I can. Don't go anywhere. I'm still here. I'm still here. Uh, let's go this way. That's a good plan of action. That'll probably work. And here is a piece of scrap, which just happens to fit on the front of there. Lucky me. Lucky, lucky. It's the Irish. there and we'll go that way put this little pin back in you guys somebody needs to tell me hey get back in frame man get back in frame there's my little punch my giant gigantic punch which I want to use before I actually glue that and before I ink it, and let's see what else can we put on there. Ooh, look, music paper. I don't think I'm going to use that, which is fine. I do kind of want to use this would be neat. 
see. Do I need to? Oh, oh. look at that. How interesting. So this, I think I'm going to use, I recycle a lot. So this is like from the top of a foil box. And I'm just going to do it the right way because that's an easier way to, easier way to, and I don't need that. Easier way to cut it. I know you're like, finish your damn sentence, lady. I <laughs> love the sound of tearing paper. Yay! Um, oh. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Let's go the other way. There we go. That'll work. A little uneven. Fine with me. Okay, let's see here. Is that a cut? That's a cut. Mm -hmm. Just going to have to tear that off then. How did that happen? Interesting. Okay, so let's tear it off right there and show those interesting little music notes. Whoa, that was loud. That hurt my ears. Sorry, guys. So we can just go like this and then tear it off right about there this jaggedy cut. There, that was better. Not quite so loud, huh? Put that back in its little box over there. And make it a free-floating pocket. Something that gets um, clipped in with a paper clip or whatever kind of clip you want. Ooh, that's what I should have done. Altered paper clip. I love making those. So fun. Okay, let's just put that right about here, leaving a border, because I'm going to ink the whole thing. Soup. That works good. Look at that. It works very well. It looks very regular, though. It doesn't look random at all, does it? It's kind of interesting. Okay, time for ink. everything but not everything gets brown ink sometimes it gets I don't know black blue oh, just depends and the back I think I'm going to cover the back too because it's going to float Got the edges inked. And let's see. Let's get some interesting paper. An interesting monster. Can't have an interesting hairdo. That's yeah, Bugs Bunny. You guys remember that? That's green enough, I think. It's got some green in it, but I like the daisies. I'm a daisy person daisies here so I'm thinking I'm just kind of border it the same get my pencil yeah I have like very little workspace but it forces me to keep everything really organized which is totally against my grain believe me I like I thrive on organized chaos is what let's see I lost my mark there it is and we're going to, yep, that looks good. Okay. Okay. And this is going to sturdy it up as well. So, because the book pages is, is, you know, book pages are quite flimsy. So I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for the back of this because it's so large. Seven minutes! Oh my god! Ah! Just kidding. I'm totally not stressed. It takes way more than this to get me stressed. Just like people are always worried about offending me. You know, it takes a lot to offend me. I, you can say a lot of things to me and it won't even, it'll bounce off. 
because I don't take it that way, you know? I don't take it in bad ways. I just, like, laugh and be happy. But that's, that's what it's all about, you know? You can't get too serious and you'll give yourself a heart attack or something. Let's see, and there's no up or down on this, so that's pretty cool. And Fabri-Tac is a little forgiving, so I can reposition just a teeny bit. There, that's good. That's awesome. I'm going to re-ink that because it doesn't have enough grunge on it for me. Come on. Ah. Need a new steel pen. I don't have any more. Just that one that came with it. Okay, let's get this done. Glue down. And then we can say that's done. bit in the middle oh that looks so good inked up oh god I didn't think I'd like it but I do isn't that interesting you never know right I think I should put something right there I know what I should put there a crafty cat thing it's one of those collage papers with the ads and I don't remember which um I don't remember which kit it's from unfortunately I think it's from 18 oh she has a several 18 18 80 I don't know but oops there we go here it is there it is the folder not the ad the ad is buried in here somewhere which that may be my undoing because I, I won't be able to find it in time to finish this thing, but we'll see what happens, right? Come on, where are ya? Ooh, it's going now, tick, tick, tick. That's the sound of your life ticking away. That's from Dexter, I love Dexter. It's a really interesting show. I don't think I've ever watched a show before where they want you to like the bad guy. But he wasn't, you know, totally a bad guy either. So, I don't know. It's just one of those crazy shows. There it is right there. You can see I've already used part of it. I'm just going to leave that folder right there. Uh, let's trim. This will work. Actually, I'm going to tear this part. I'm going to have to just take that top one. Oops. Almost had an, a, a tear accident. <laughs> take off some of those yeah well, some of the corners because I don't really like having like you know sharp corners on mine it's okay sometimes but not on this one I don't like it so I'll just put ink on that okay you stay there go Ready? go So my husband says when he's taking the dog out, ready, go. Okay, don't go. Because the dog will be like, okay. Especially if it's raining. That's cool. Dog would stay in the snow, play in the snow forever, but it doesn't like the rain. Crazy, huh? Okay. Slightly inked. That'll work. That looks kind of cool. It still needs more, I think, but I only got two minutes left, so. So, Amy, your digitals are so awesome. Love it. Love other digitals, too. Gail Agostinelli has some really great um, 
really, really great um, eco dye prints. Oh my God, they're beautiful. Cinnamon T, the letter T. Okay, done. <laughs> okay, my timer's gonna go off, so let's just show what we did. Only got four things done, but hey, four things more that I have now, right? So here we have our large free-floating pocket. Let's get that out of the way. Let me put lots of stuff in there. Should have rounded the corners, but you know, it's okay. This is our fabric flip, which will be, so, I think I'm losing something. I, think I lost something here. Oh, it's probably on the floor, which means it's, it's gone for good or whatever. Okay, so there's our fabric flip. It's gonna go up that way. That's gonna all get sewed down. Then we have our journaling card with the chrysalis and caterpillar and flower. And a little envelope made from lace and fabric and uh, fabric and fabric lace and book page. It's been sewn around and decorated. Oh my gosh, my white balance. Stop doing that. But anyway, there you are. It's not focusing very well right now. I hope it didn't do that the whole time. How the heck are you supposed to see anything? See, I don't get it. I don't understand. Anyway, but there we have it. Four things in one hour. Boop! There you go. Oh, there. Now I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. This was a lot of fun. Um, next up, orange. And while I was looking for the green, I realized I had a lot of orange, too. So, sweet. Shouldn't be too difficult. And thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video and, and the content. And you want to see more like this. If you want to see things I haven't done yet, please suggest them in the comments below. I do read my comments. And I try to at least heart them if I don't get to comment on them. You'll know when I've seen them. Okay, um, so I'm going to go now. Peace, love. Remember, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Make it a happy, crafty, colorful, and safe one. Everybody, be safe out there. Wash your hands and don't touch your face. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.